today. From Empower Field at Mile High in Denver. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos versus Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Just a short time ago, sounds loud enough to reverberate across the Rockies. They're ready for football in Denver as the Broncos get set to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And to no one's surprise here in Denver, they'll carry through the back of the end zone for a touchback. For the Ravens offense set to take over and led by a man still just in his fourth season in the NFL, the 2019 MVP, Lamar Jackson. Anytime anyone throws for over 300 yards in a game, you know their name is going to be considered for Offensive Player of the Week. And in the AFC last week, our guy got it. Yeah, he was the guy on top of his game. He'll try to duplicate that here in this one. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And Charles, this defense, they know that they've got their work cut out for them. Here's a quarterback coming off a game in which he threw four touchdowns. They've watched the tape all week. They've seen it, but what can they do differently? I think they've got to approach it like a pitcher facing a really hot batter. Get him uncomfortable in the box. Change speeds, change locations, change the pitches you throw at him. So show different coverages. Blitz sometimes, drop back other times. Just don't let him get comfortable or let him get into rhythm. They'll run with Dobbins. The numbers for him from a week ago. 20 carries, 91 yards, and a touchdown. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to bring that down a little bit and try and keep him fresh? Or do they say, guess what? He's locked in. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And the Broncos are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. So here are the Broncos backed up to start their initial drive. They'll be led out by a seven-time Pro Bowl quarterback in his 10th NFL season now. And that's Russell Wilson. His game last week reminded me of the old song, Accentuate the Positive. That's about, that's about all he did, right? Yeah. Three touchdown passes, over 300 yards in the air. Receivers happy. If and they got the win. Got the win. If you're running back that likes to catch passes, they're happy as well. Big time game. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now Wilson down around his goal line. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone. They need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Escaping the pressure right. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And he will be very close to a first down. But I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. They only needed about four or five inches there. Relied on the big guys up front and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. 
No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancing for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Running right, it's a handoff to Gordon. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. The numbers a week ago from Melvin Gordon. 15 carries, 109 yards, and a touchdown. And when I watch them operate, I see a unit that's playing with extreme confidence. Offensive line, tight end, wide receivers. You see a group that wants their number eight rusher in the league end up being in the top five before it's over. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. He'll buy some time. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And it's picked up by the Ravens. 30. 10. And this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. K.J. Hamler returning it. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Now on second and 13, Wilson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And this one will wind up being down just outside of that 20-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? On first and 10, it's Jackson. He's got his man, it's Andrews. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Partner, I know we're in the era of the mobile quarterback, but there's still an element of surprise when that position keeps the football. And what a nice gain on that play. The Jackson going to hold on to it again. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 56 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. And now 
Jackson will look to throw it. The quick slant caught. Touchdown! Mark Andrews, his second touchdown on the season as the Ravens push further out in front. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have, and you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. That time, a six-play drive, and it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone, and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. They haven't allowed a point yet, flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Nifty move by Gordon, and he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Here's second and ten. Again, Wilson. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 35. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Flush to his right. Open man, and again it's Sutton. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And unfortunately, in 2020, in the season opener, Cortland Sutton tore his ACL. But remember, over 1,100 yards in 2019, his future is still awfully bright. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now the handoff comes to Gordon. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. From the shotgun, Wilson rolling to his right. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Russell Wilson, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Broncos have cut it to within a score. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. The Ravens offense back out there. And that last drive... It was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. And this throw incomplete. 
And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Jackson. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. K.J. Hamler deep for the Broncos. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. The Broncos and Cortland Sutton heading back out there. There was a lot of talk in training camp about him getting off to a hot start this year, saying that they needed that. Well, he's done it through the first month. Kind of reminds me of one of those great musical groups where one person has their name out front, then they have the backups, right? <laughs> He's the guy out front because the backups, they're, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, but we're going to the headliner each and every time. And that's not easily done because you know all the defenses are kicking towards him right now. That means he's fighting his way through traffic, finding ways to get open, even when he's not supposed to be. And that ball incomplete. He couldn't work free from his defender, and now it's third down. On third down, Wilson. They'll roll him out right. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So holding there on the return, and that'll back him up to start the next drive. Yeah, that's a pretty easy call right there, partner. I think when the officials look in their manual and see the expression, jersey getting pulled, that's a flag coming out every time. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. And Marquise Brown is definitely a guy who can take the top off of a defense and make the big catches downfield. Also known as Hollywood, now in his third season from Oklahoma. Wants to make more catches like the one we just saw there. The routine variety. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. And Sammy Watkins is in his eighth NFL season, spent the last three in Kansas City, and won a Super Bowl there. Really excited about the opportunity to bond with quarterback Lamar Jackson. Makes a nice catch there. A gain of six there on first. Second and four. From the gun, Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle. Ravens receivers have ranked last in receptions and receiving yards each of the last two years. Thus, the pick of Rashad Bateman at the University of Minnesota. He was their first-round pick, number 27 overall, and they expect to see more catches and more first downs from that young man. Jackson will throw again. He'll find Bateman once more. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. From the 29, Jackson. Flushed out right. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos 16. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. 
And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Draymond Jones credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. It's a 39-yard attempt right hash. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera, but this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. Final play of the half, it's Wilson eluding the pressure right. And he's gonna go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime. Second half as they trail, and we are back underway. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. And the Bronco offense ready to begin this third quarter of play. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. To throw is Wilson, escaping the pressure right. That one's complete to Tomlinson. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And the Broncos expected big things out of Jerry Judy, their number one pick in 2020, but he really had to make a jump with the injury to Cortland Sutton. Almost 900 yards last year, a nice grab there. Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble, and it's picked up by the Ravens. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Option play, and they'll hand the Dobbins. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. Stop shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. He 
And option handoff here to Dobbins. And he will have a Ravens first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. 78 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Jackson from the shotgun. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, his first touchdown on the year. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. Set to take over. The Broncos offense trots back out. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a big play there for the Broncos. Now Wilson on first down. Forced out to his left. He'll get this one to Patrick. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And hats off to Russell Wilson. He just went over 35,000 passing yards. Seems to be in contention for a passing title year after year. Came into the league in 2012. And so darn consistent. Congratulations to Russell Wilson on topping another marker. They'll go jet sweep here with Sutton. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league. No question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Throwing again on second down. Wilson finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. Touchdown, Broncos! Tim Patrick, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Broncos are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. When you're a great route runner, it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects, and he's able to deliver the ball on time. Extra point from McManus is good, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. No run back here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. It was D.J. Jones who was there for the tackle. 
Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he will have a Ravens first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Now I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. And they run the option here on first and 10. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Dobbins running out of the gun. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Back-to-back two-yard losses, and that sets up a tough third and 14. Throwing is Jackson. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Randy Gregory coming in to drop it for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Here's Sam Cook now as he'll punt it away for the second time. even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Broncos' offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, live to fight another down, right? And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Wilson will throw again. That's complete, Okure Buna. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Now Wilson. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively, and second down. Throwing again on second and ten. Wilson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The Broncos on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Sliding out of the pocket. He finds his man complete. That's Patrick. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 26. Here's Wilson. He'll buy some time right. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. 
A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a bit. And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. Melvin Gordon with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Broncos have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. McManus's point after is good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah. There he goes, right side. He's at the 30, 10, 5. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game-sealing touchdown. They'll try to run it in, going option right. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. They'll try to run with Dobbins, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. J.K. Dobbins. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Ravens will extend their lead. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. with the extra point and his guys will take a 10-point lead a drive there of just four plays and it's finished off by a touchdown run from jk dobbins from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. so russell wilson in the offense down by 10, just over a minute, 40 to play. Their perfect start to the season in serious peril as they come up on first and 10. Flush to his right. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble in second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Four yards remain for second down. There's Wilson rolling to his right. Open man, he completes it to Judy. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Now Wilson. They'll roll him out right. Oh, no, he lost the football. Wilson to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. He's airing it out for Williams. And that is intercepted. Or was it? 
Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Flushed out right. Underneath, pulled in by Tomlinson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Whether it's a touchdown or a field goal, whatever it is, they need to score quickly here on first down. He'll buy some time right. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Throwing now is Wilson, eluding the pressure right. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. That's a big league job there, getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. On second and goal, Wilson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off inside the 10, and he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. And with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Second and 11 now. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And they've got to feel good about this performance. I think you'd agree. Matched up against a top five defensive unit in the league, and they pretty much had their way. Yeah, that was, that was the interesting part about it because normally when we see this defense play, they have their opportunities, and they make their plays, don't they? They knock them back on their heels. They take the ball away. They, they change field position. In this case, what you said is so apt. They had their way with them, took it to them, and knock them back on their heels and surprise the heck out of them. So for Baltimore, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to two and two. And 